So let's say you want to limit uh, the country discount to a specific country like South Africa. Um, you will first create the discount if it's a discount that you want to, to give. It could be a gift or it could be a smart deal, but in this case it's a discount. And um, I will also create a rule. So I will create a new promotion here or there. I will create the. Uh, did I already create a country discount? I'll call it um, South Africa. Okay. Then it could be unspecific. So, what I wanted to do would be to. No, I'll actually create Canada because I know I have one. So this customer eligibility will make sure that if someone actually inputs or enter the um, the discount um, in the checkout page uh, it will restrict this person from having this discount if they or he or she doesn't deserve to have it so i have a group call from canada uh, the group can be created in customer section and um, well from Canada will simply check the actual address of the person so when you create a group um, you can tag for example I go to my customer I go to more filter and I should see location there you can select a country and in my case I've selected Canada but you could select uh, another one and then you're done and then you can save the filter and you can save it and this will create the group from Canada or from South Africa or from United States and then you go here and you can uh, select this specific group of course you can you know select anything else in the discount but I just want to focus uh, on the group itself and inside our app, you will uh, select this coupon code that I've just created. And here, I will select as a triggering condition. So the triggering condition is what will trigger or fire the application of the discount. But like I said, if someone has this actual coupon code called Canada and enters it manually in the checkout, discount field in the checkout page if there's no inner restriction inside the discount itself they or she or will be able to get the discount so the triggering condition will be bypassed because our app is not running on Shopify's checkout page it's only running inside the storefront inside the store before it goes to checkout the checkout being hosted by Shopify uh, on their own domain so here I will select Canada. You can add another condition if you want, and I will put it active and Canadian discount. Let's see. And I will save it. So I have the, my Canadian discount. I just want to put it as a priority. So if I go to my store and I uh, browse it from um, a Canadian IP address which I'm at maybe uh, I would need maybe to wait some time uh, because uh, well I have nothing in my cart so it might not work okay so so the Canadian discount is applied there but of course if I go and select another uh, country So it will, you know, restrict someone from having this actual Canadian discount. But if I put uh, my own Canadian address, um, it will not show this. So this is the way to, like, using our app, it will trigger the discount itself. But if someone tries to, you know, cheat or actually go there and put Canada, 
so it will not work for them.